Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 18 to 26. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter has just died, but come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, If only I could touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. What I find very insightful of the encounter between the sick woman and Jesus was the initiative that she took to be healed. Moreover, her condition not only had negative health consequences, but sociological as well. The temple laws during the time of Jesus dictated that whenever someone is hemorrhaging blood, that person was deemed unclean and required to be isolated. So it is understandable to assume that her desire of not only being cured, but being reinstated into the community were the drivers of her courageous action, as Jesus said. Reflecting on this scene, what came to mind is the contemporary undervaluing of the importance of community and sense of belonging. In the advent of the internet and on-demand media entertainment, it is very easy to isolate oneself while being deceitfully distracted from the social bonds that we as human beings require. The symptoms of this might be apathy, lack of motivation, depression, all of which can remain unalarming until it is too late. One thing that this pandemic is re-educating me on is the fundamental importance and need of human connection. As the adage goes, you don't really know the value of something until it is taken away from you. I am sure many lessons are being learned from this period of pandemic, so let us hope and pray that these will be taken to heart and cherished as we are on the road to recovery. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wholesome day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.